another unique knot pattern that you guys can apply to any magnet project. Welcome back to Bochinat Macrame. In this channel, you will find everything macrame related from DIY pattern tutorials and helpful tips to help you on your macrame journey. So if you guys are interested in learning macrame with me, make sure you click that subscribe button and also give me a follow on Instagram at Bochinat for our latest macrame designs and also some quick tips and tutorials on our Instagram reels. So in today's tutorial, we will be going over a quick double half-ish knot floral pattern with a berry knot. If you guys do follow me and my work, you do know that I love a good floral pattern, including berry knots. And so in this tutorial, I will be showing you guys how you can make one and apply this into your other projects. I've applied this knot pattern into a larger macrame wall hanging project. It's actually the one that you see behind me right there. It actually isn't too difficult to make if you're good with using the double half inch knot. If you guys aren't, I would recommend practicing the double half inch knot first, or if you guys have the confidence and want to start making double half inch knot patterns, then go for it. This knot pattern is something you can apply to almost any project, like a wall hanging, a keychain, or even a plant hanger pattern at the bottom. If you guys are not sure how you can apply a pattern like this into your projects, we do go over how you can create your own macrame designs on our Bochi Not Macrame community on Patreon. That is a platform where I release weekly macrame tutorials to help makers like you expand your macrame skill set so that you can get from beginner to advanced a lot quicker. If your guys' end goal is to learn how to create your own macrame designs, then you may be interested in that. And if so, you can check us out in the link in the video description below. And with that, let's get started on the knot pattern. To make this pattern, you will need eight vertical strands of cord. That means four strands of cord folded in half attached onto a dowel using a lark's head knot. To begin this pattern, we're going to start with the middle two cords and we're going to make a diagonal double half-ish knot to the left using the middle right cord as the anchor cord and the middle left as the working cord. Then continue on with two more diagonal double half-ish knots to the left onto the same anchor cord. Once done, you should have one more loose cord remaining on the left. We're going to ignore that and then taking the middle right cord as the anchor cord, we're going to make two diagonal double half inch knots to the right. Then with that left anchor cord, we're going to flip it over to the right and make two diagonal double half inch knots to the right. So essentially here, we're making a double half inch knot diamond pattern with the middle six cords. Now with the right anchor cord, we're going to flip it over to the left and make two diagonal double half inch knots over to the left. Then with the middle two cords, we're going to make one more diagonal double half inch knot over to the left to close off this diamond pattern. Now that this diamond pattern is complete, this represents the middle petal of the three petal floral pattern. Now we're going to start on the side petals. Here is where we will take that far left cord as a working cord and then the next cord down as an anchor cord for a double half inch knot over to the left. Then flipping the anchor cord over to the right and we're going to make three diagonal double half inch knots over to the right now to complete this side petal.
Once we are done the pattern on the left, we're going to repeat the same pattern on the right, mirroring the left side. So with the far right chord as the working chord, we're going to make a double half a knot to the right with the next chord to the left as the anchor chord. Then flip that anchor chord over to the left and using the same working chord, make a double half a knot to the left. Then make two more double half a knots after that. Now that the three petals are done, we're just going to cover the bottom of this pattern with a berry knot to close it off. So taking the middle four chords, we're going to take the left and right chords as working chords and make three consecutive square knots. Take the middle two chords, weave it through the hole right above the first square knot using the same anchor chords and working chords, finish off with one more square knot underneath. To finish this off, pull on the anchor chords so that there are no scrunched up chords in between. And we are now complete with this floral berry pattern. That concludes our macrame floral berry knot pattern. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you guys can apply this into your own macrame designs. I also plan on incorporating this pattern into a macrame keychain, so if you guys are interested in a tutorial for that, let me know in the comment section below and I will do that up. If you guys enjoy tutorials like this, make sure you give it a big thumbs up so that I know and to make more of these tutorials in the future. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.